this isn't a how-to video per se, because I'm doing this for the first time. So, yeah. To make sauerkraut, I will use a cutting board, a knife, a big glass, about three and a half liters, kitchen weight, a bowl, some table salt, plastic bag, and cabbage. This one was about three and a half kilos, so it will fit nicely into the bowl. Also, if you use imperial measurements, then I'm really sorry for you. Firstly, I remove the outer layers of the cabbage, because I do not know who touched it in the shop. And also because the leaves are a little bit icky. Then I cut the cabbage into quarters. Do not forget to remove the hard stem. I don't know why it was set in the cookbook, uh, but I didn't want to eat it either. Then I cut the cabbage into pieces. Put it in a bowl. Cut it some more, put them more in the bowl. I also tried a regular kitchen grater, but I wasn't satisfied with the results, so I just stick to the knife. Two and a half bowl slicer. After I cut the cabbage into pieces, I realized that I could have made it a little bit smaller, but at this point, yeah. It will take a little bit longer to ferment, but oh well. After deconstructing the cabbage, the salt needs to be added. Wait, I cannot see the scale. Oh wait, I know. I go behind camera. Yes, this will work out. I read that it is good to add between 1.5% to 2.5% of total weight of the cabbage. I want to add about 2% of salt into it. 1% from 707 grams is about 7 grams, therefore 2% is about 14 grams. After adding the 14 grams into the cabbage, I realized that I didn't subtract the weight of the bowl, so I had to put some of the salt back. After the salt, you need to damage the cabbage. You can munch it between your fingers, just squeeze it real good, you can punch it, tenderize it. Once you damage the cabbage enough, it will shed beautiful, beautiful salty tears. Now we take the cabbage and put it in its prison cell. Don't forget to squeeze it real good. It needs to be underwater at all times. Once the cabbage is drowning in its own tears, we need to ensure that it keeps drowning. Here I used cheap Ziploc bag. I just filled it with water, like so. It will not fit. Hold on. Don't be afraid to give it a little squeeze, like so. Then you put a lid on with fermentation valve and just wait. And write down when you started the fermentation. And they're there. Four weeks later. Because I put in table salt, which contained iodine, it took longer to ferment than usual, because the bacteria do not like iodine. So my mistake. If we compare it to sauerkraut that I, that I got from home, we can see that it got similar healthy yellow coloring. It's a little bit crunchy, but definitely it is sour. So I can pronounce the sauerkraut. I will put a little flask in my fridge to stop the fermentation process, but the rest I will let ferment a little longer, because I would like to have it a little more fermented. A little bit more sourness, if you will. And there we go. Done. Oh yeah, I didn't put in cumin for extra flavor. Oh well, next time.